Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Pirro. Today I'm going to be doing a caring um, critter that's a porcupine. I'm doing a whole series of caring critters that are gonna have this little heart shape somewhere on them. They stand on their hind feet because they're cartoon animals, not realistic animals. So let's draw a porcupine today. Go ahead and gather some things to draw with. You need a, pin, a um, piece of paper. You're going to need a drawing material. You're gonna need some kind of a circle tracer. I like to use um, this jelly jar lid that I have at my house, but you can find any kind of a circle tracer that's about the same size and it will work just fine. At the end of our drawing, you're gonna need a few crayons. So a tan crayon, a red crayon, yellow for the corn, and a dark brown, that's it. Tan, red, yellow, dark brown, four different colors. So gather up your materials and let's get started. Okay, I'm, more, I'm gonna move this a little bit closer here. Let's try to get the camera in the right spot so that you can see both my example and my critter that's, um, or my drawing here. Okay, we're gonna start in the top left corner, move our finger to the middle, and come down a little bit. I like to leave about one hand's width of space. This might be a little bit too low today. I'm gonna to put it up maybe just a tiny bit higher. But I need some room for the quills. So go ahead and trace around your ring or whatever you're using for your circle because all of these critters have a round head. It just helps make them look more cartoon-like and um, it keeps it consistent, so we're gonna have a whole series. When you get done, you might actually have a whole collection of caring critters if you follow along all my videos. Okay, the caring critters have wide set eyes. They're right halfway down the middle of the uh, face, and it's a large oval shape, probably bigger than you think it should be. And then we're gonna do a little white circle that stays white as a highlight that doesn't get colored in. And then we're gonna do a slightly larger oval that we color in black. Okay, and this gives us our caring critter eyes. These are my cartoon eyes that I've decided on for this series. Okay, so we need to color that in. You could use a pencil to color it in if you're drawing with pencil or a black crayon, or if you're drawing with a Sharpie like I am, you can fill it in with Sharpie. Okay, oh, that's cute. All right, now if some people like to make it look like a girl and they might put some eyelashes on it, if you wanna have it look like a girl critter, you could do that. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Um, you could also put some eyebrows on here. The eyebrows make it look cute. Make sure they're up like a rainbow. They kinda of go up and down so that it looks happy. All right, now we're gonna look for this area on his face. So right between his eyes, right here, I'm gonna put a little dot. And that is where the top of this brown, uh, darker brown area that um, is kind of like the nose or the muzzle. And we're just gonna make little short marks. We don't wanna draw a line on here, okay? And then I'm gonna think, okay, where does my nose stop? I'm gonna draw a W. And I'm gonna draw the little black part of the nose. So we're gonna do a little half circle there, come down on an angle and connect. And now we're going to just make these fuzzy lines that come down all the way to this mouth area, okay? And then we need to add a little nostril on each side because his nostrils are kind of big and he has big buck teeth. Porcupines are kind of destructive if you're, um, you know, have a house out in the woods or something, they could chew right through your siding um, because their teeth are built for chewing. I'm gonna give him a few extra little marks like this to uh, highlight his um, fuzziness. And then because he's a cute cartoon, we could even add a little extra smile here on there if you want. Okay, now we're gonna do the sides of his body. So straight down from the eyes down like this, so a half sideways rainbow, kind of long and skinny. Try to make them look close to the same. Okay, and then we're gonna come down here. Here's the nose, here's the center. That's where I'm gonna finish. So I'm gonna curve and finish my body like so. 
Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is actually draw this corn. I saw the cutest video online. There's this little um, um, YouTube person that, that he, um, posts pictures of this porcupine called Teddy Bear. If you and your parents want to, you can look up Teddy Bear the porcupine. He is so cute. And he makes these cute little noises while he's eating corn. So that's where I got the idea for this drawing. So I did one, two, three claws, finished it with a half circle, two lines out, half circle, two lines out, half circle, okay? And then straight down from the eyes, we're gonna do the legs, two straight lines, two straight lines, come up into the body a little bit, half circle rounded, and then down here a little bit of a rounded shape. Okay, and then we're gonna give him three big black claws that helps him climb up in the trees and dig for grubs and other things that he likes to eat. And then we're gonna give him some texture. We want some quill kind of looking lines on here, or fur, and some texture on his arms. Okay, he's looking kind of bald right now, isn't he? He needs some quills. So now we're gonna go over here and we're gonna draw the quills. I like to start out with um, thinking about how long it's gonna be. So I don't want it to go all the way to the top. So my first quill, I'm gonna just go one, two, three like this. And I can go back and, and fill in more later, but I like to go right and then left or side, side. And that way it helps keep me um, even so that the quills are matching on both sides rather than trying to go all the way down and around because it gets really awkward if you um, try to go like that. And you might need to turn your paper as you're doing this if it makes it easier for yourself. Okay, so we wanna make the quills really fluffy like um, Teddy Bear in that video. And we know that porcupines, when they get scared, they try to protect themselves with their quills and so they fluff their quills out even more. Sometimes I'm kind of prickly when I'm in a grumpy mood like a, por I'm like a porcupine. I act like I have quills that are sticking out. Has that ever happened to you? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put some kernels onto our little corn cob here. Just little oval shapes. You can make them kind of in rows. And then my caring critter heart on this tummy. And that's it, now we're done. So I'm gonna sign my picture I like to put the year on it, 2020. And then um, I'll get out my crayons and I'm gonna find a dark brown and a tan and a um, red and a yellow and I'm gonna color this area tan and this area um, we're gonna color brown, but make sure you're coloring in the direction of the quills to keep them looking um, like quills. We don't wanna color sideways on this. Okay, and you can have fun with this and color it however you want. Maybe you don't want to color it natural colors. You can do it um, like a rainbow unicorn colors or whatever you want because it's your picture. So you can color it any way you want to. Have fun. I hope you enjoyed drawing um, our cute cartoon porcupine today. Caring porcupine. Bye-bye.